Hello everyone, my name is Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is June 18th, 2022, and I apologize for the delay in getting this out to you. I've had terrible technical difficulties today, like I've never had. I've been uploading these daily updates uh, for over a year now, uh, and I haven't missed a day. Um, but, you know, whatever. Bitcoin is looking like it's bouncing off crucial support, okay? It's looking like we're getting a bounce from the region we discussed before, okay? I know it looks really drastic and dramatic for us to d dip all the way down into the 17,000s. But if you look at it objectively, this is our support region, right? This is the region that we discussed before as being a likely region of support for the price, right? This is our previous all time high right here. Uh, let's get the pen right here. Okay. And this is a, a, a major consolidation on the high time frame. Okay. So we expect it to come down into this box. All right. And let me tell you why us coming down this far is actually extremely bullish for the medium and the longer time frame. I'm also in this video going to discuss Ethereum and something no one, I've heard no one discuss about Ethereum, all right? So watch until the very end because I'm going to try and make this quick but informative. All right, so like I said, we bounce off this box. If you go on a smaller time frame, like the daily, um, maybe not the daily, the four hourly may show you, but you're getting some bullish engulfing candle. Okay. That's really huge. Okay. In terms of knowing, you know, trying to figure out if you're getting a legitimate bounce to change a trend, it's hard to say, right? Uh, cause we know according to Elliott wave theory, you can get ending diagonals that look like bounces, but it, it's, you know, it's a little deceptive, right? So it's not 100%, but it's likely given the context of everything going on, strong volume, bullish engulfing candle, this might be it, okay? This might be the bounce we're looking for. And we don't only see this in Bitcoin, we're seeing this across the market, all right? The other reason that this may just be it is not only are we at crucial support on high time frame, let's go back to the weekly time frame, um, but we're also in a crucial area of support vis-a-vis -vis the Fibonacci retracement, the wave two retracement, okay? So let's get rid of this box. And you see, I've put in five waves, right? I counted five waves. This is clearly an impulse to the upside, right? And so what follows after five waves, you get three or a version thereof. So we've got our wave two retracement. Okay, let's just say this is our wave two retracement. And so where do you think that the wave two ends? According to Elliott Wave Theory, it's likely to end between the region of uh, the three, two Fibonacci retracement, as well as the 618, all right? So this is where we expect Bitcoin to find support when it's all said and done, okay? And I know that in the past, I said that I thought that this was a composed B wave and it was going to come up here, you know, probably test triple or six digits and then uh, pivot and give us an impulse. But given the recent price action we've had in Bitcoin over the past few hours, that idea is invalidated. And this is proved itself to be an impulse. Okay. And it's an unlikely impulse. Unlikely because for the following reasons, let me just show you, let's zoom in and let me talk about this because this is important. And this confused me for quite some time. Okay. I did not see this right here. When I say this, I'm talking about this as an impulse, right? Reason being it's an ending diagonal. Okay. Obviously I know we can get ending diagonals in wave five and wave C, but still I thought that it was unlikely. All right. And one of the main reasons I thought it was unlikely is because if you count it, 
it goes one, two, three, four, five. That's a likely count for this, okay? Um, the only thing that I don't like, that I really don't like about this count is the fact that the third wave, right, is never supposed to be the shortest wave. It doesn't have to be the longest, but it never can be the shortest. It doesn't matter if you're dealing with the regular 53535 five, or an ending diagonal 33333 three, 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 or um, a leading diagonal 53535. Five, three, five. It can never be the shortest. And when you measure it with wave one, it's almost exactly the same as wave one. That to me seemed strange. So I thought that this was most likely an A, B, C, right? Sort of uh, intermittent B wave to this A wave, but it can't be. Why? If, you know, you can prove that to yourself, you take the Fibonacci retracement of this purported A wave from the bottom to the top, and you see that the six one six one eight of that A wave has been breached. And you know that B waves can only retrace to a maximum of the 1618. And especially in strong assets like Bitcoin, they don't even come close, right? They can maybe at most dilly dally across the 1236, but they never breach the 1618. So that has been invalidated. The great news about that is that this is a complete retracement. It's a complete minor wave two retracement. Why minor wave two? I'm going to show you just in a second. Okay. But that means that once this is all said and done, the next target to the upside is 1.75 million. Yes, you heard that correctly. 1.75 million. Let me just show you that really quickly. And guys, if you're getting value, please like share and subscribe. Let's go to my, um, the index chart of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin has charted from a penny right? And let's go on the weekly time frame. Okay. And you can see I've charted Bitcoin from the cycle to the primary, to the intermediate, to the minor wave. Uh, and uh, right now we're in the minor wave, the pink wave. Okay. I'm just talking degrees here. That's how we discuss Elliott waves. And this is uh, this first wave, these five waves up were was minor wave one. And you can see minor wave two I expected to come within this box. This box was where I expected the price to find support before continuing into minor wave three. And as you can see, minor wave three has been targeted to the 1618 of minor wave one, which is at 1.75 million approximately, okay? Obviously we know that wave three can extend to as little as the one Fibonacci extension of wave one, or it could even extend much more than the 1618. It can go between the 1618 to the two on average, or you know, be an extended wave three to the 3618, 4618, and beyond. All right. But that's just an approximation. That's just an assumption, right? Probabilistic. So this this is basically saying that not only is Bitcoin super bullish right now and super like a great value given the upside potential. But so is the rest of the cryptocurrency market if we use, as we do on this channel, Bitcoin as a proxy for the rest of the cryptocurrency market. If Bitcoin's next major target is 1.75 million, just imagine what a smaller cap altcoin would be. So just keep that in mind. Okay, now, uh, we talked about major support levels, why Bitcoin may have bounced, um, why uh, other altcoins also may have bounced because you can see this throughout the cryptocurrency market right here. You can see this right here. You've created some lows. Do you see we have one low, two lows in, in Cardano. You have a strong bullish hammer candle right here. And you basically have that sort of uh, what would you call it? A pitchfork reversal pattern that's played out. Okay. You see this across the market uh, here in Ravine. You already got your big bounce. You have your retracement. So that's already run uh, here in Telcoin. It didn't necessarily, it did create a lower low, but you still have that really bullish, strong bullish hammer candle. And this is still a contiguous sort of structure where 
this low is not beyond the 1618 of this wave right here. So it's a contiguous reversal structure. It's very likely to give you that um, sort of uh, W reversal, as people call it. All right, here you got a higher high, and you're at in RSR the 618 of these five waves. Okay, so you're holding major support. All right, uh, Dodo, you have what you have in RSR. You have a lower low, but again, this wave here is contiguous to whatever's going on here. It's not beyond the 1618 of this structure. Okay, so once again, you have a potential. W reversal, okay? And over here in Kadena, you have the same thing, no lower low. Yeah. It's very, very promising for continuation, okay? And so across the market, you have high likelihood of reversal, right? These structures that we've been talking about for a month now, at literally a month now, have held their market structure. They have not broken down, okay? So you see this throughout the market. So it's likely that we're going to get the reversal either now or very soon. This is held for a month plus, okay? So is Telcoin. You can see these, all right? I'm not making this up. While Bitcoin was making lower lows, all of these altcoins were holding their structure, okay? So that's important. Now, let's talk about Ethereum. Ethereum is very interesting to me. This is not something I'm trading, but it is in my master plan. As you'll see, it's in a little short list of, of coins that I have entitled master plan. What's my master plan in brief? I'm using smaller cap altcoins to create wealth, and then I'm using these assets, Ethereum and Bitcoin, to preserve wealth. Now, there are certain things that I want to sort of purchase, not just Ethereum, but uh, uh, NFTs or like, you know, a domain, Ethereum domain. That's all a proxy of Ethereum's price action. But I am not looking to make those purchases up un until the, the point that uh, Ethereum reaches this box. Look at where this box is located, and I'm going to tell you why. I don't think anybody's talking about this, okay? The whole of crypto right now seems like a good buy, okay? You look at the um, you you look you look at the momentum indicators, right? Everything zeroed out on the weekly, the monthly. It's basically oversold, okay? On the daily, it's completely oversold, okay? So. I don't think that this is going to happen immediately. Nothing goes in a straight line. However, if you pay attention to Ethereum and what it's done since its inception in August of 2015, you have an asset that's gone up from 14 cents all the way to a high of $4,413, okay, with little to no retracement, no major retracement, okay? You've had these smaller retracements. But what's significant about my analysis is that I spy five waves. So that means I need three. And I need three waves coming at a minimum of the 382 retracement of these five waves, okay? So that's why I've got this box in between the 382 and the 618 of this five wave progression. As you can see, we came from the, the high of about 14,660 14, uh, 14, down to 76, went back up to 4,400, okay? And I think that needs to be completed, okay? I don't see anything else. There may be other things in the market, but I don't see anything else in the market that's on this trajectory. And the reason for that may very well be that Ethereum is one of those few assets that has mm -hmm. been around long enough to have put in five major waves, okay? And so I see five major waves and I see already the beginnings, two thirds of a flat correction. So I wouldn't necessarily look to long Ethereum on the long term, okay? I'm sure we're going to get some sort of bounce, okay? But that bounce may sort of uh, preclude a larger 
sharper fall into this box. I would not be surprised if Ethereum just started free falling, okay, until it reached this point. This is where I'm buying my NFTs. This is where I'm buying my uh, Ethereum domain. And this is where I'm loading up on Ethereum. I, I haven't heard anybody talk about this, so I'm just talking about it. All right. Please let me know what you think. Like, share, and subscribe if you're getting value. And I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Once again, apologies for the delay. I had some technical difficulties. All right. Take care.